Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Sound Up, where you get a chance to be a part of the conversation on everything sports. I'm Mick Schaefer. Tweet us your questions and comments using the hashtag Sunday Sound Off. We'll get you involved. Let's introduce tonight's panel. Two thirds revealed here. One is Seren Petro from Sports Radio 10. Seren, we have a mystery guest. Who yeah. do you think the mystery guest is tonight? Well, I heard Jack Harry was by this week, so I'm sure in uh, honor of him, it's Carl Peterson. Could be. Who's could back be. in town to talk some Chiefs football. Could be. Blair. Kirkhoff from the Kansas City Star. Blair, who do you think the mystery guest is? I, I don't know. Is it is it a former college football standout, perhaps? <laughs> well, it depends on how you use standout. If you use it in air quotes, then yes. Let's reveal Frank Bowl, our mystery guest. Stop. Fresh off a month-long vacation. Do you want this job back, Frank? Uh, <laughs> not particularly, Mick. No, in fact, uh, even though I look like Rip Van Winkle, I've been asleep for like 40 years. Um, I woke up to the nightmare that I'm still here. I've never left. You, you look I'm, great, by the way. I'm you're still hand, here. You're bearded. How was your vacation? It was, uh, I thought it was going to be great. I took about 30 days and I uh, just went through the south and through the east coast and saw my two siblings and, or my two sisters and my brother, my best friend from high school, my two best friends from college, and a bunch of guys I played college and uh, high school football with. It was better than I had ever imagined, so it was great. That sounds awesome. Raise, Raise your hand Chucky. if you're jealous. Uh, they look very <laughs> good. Raise your hand if you're jealous. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, right. I love how the one thing Frank told me when he invited me down to do this show was make sure you shave. The <laughs> first time he's a guest, uh, he looks like he doesn't own a razor. Yeah, shocker. Exactly Frank right. Bull rule breaker. That's mm -hmm. a big surprise. We'll see how Frank does answering the questions instead of asking them this time around. Our hot topics look like this. Does the Melky Cabrera deal make sense for the Royals? Division or wild card? What's going to be the easier route to the playoffs for the Royals? And are you bothered by Michael Vick being at Chiefs camp? But first, we have our question of the week. Who has the best chance at winning it all this season? Royals, Chiefs, Sporting. U.S. Open Cup does not count for Sporting. All right, Seren, since you know they're already into the semifinals of That's that. Right. That's right. Watching you on that one. Uh, Seren's batting leadoff, or betting leadoff, I guess, here. Yeah, I, look, I, I'm going to tell you that I think it's, it's, it's probably uh, the Kansas City Royals. Uh, I, I say that because they've got a championship under their belt the most recent, and they're red hot right now. Look, I think today was a really big win for the Kansas City Royals. Uh, when you get a long Long win streak. I know this from having lived in Vegas for three years and betting baseball day in, day out. I usually have like a double thud. You lose and then everyone just kind of says, oh, that's all right. It's fine. We'll get the winning going again. And, you, and you've lost your edge. And for the Royals to fight back when they were down, it looked like a classic situation like that. To fight back uh, the way they did and go ahead and get that game, to me, is a great statement. Because this is one that I think, frankly, they were supposed to lose, had every opportunity to lose. And I, and I think it shows just how special this ball club is. I love what Sporting's doing. They made a big picture move when they traded away Dom Dwyer. I, I'd put money on them to be the best team over the next five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. The question was about this year, and the Chiefs don't have the kind of quarterback it takes to go to a Super Bowl. So, yeah, I, I think this is an easy one. I think it's the Kansas City Royals. All right, Frank, you've been gone, but you always have your finger on the pulse of Kansas City. What yeah. say you? I kept up, of course. I listened faithfully to Sports Radio 810 WHBM my entire trip. But uh, the deal is I was sort of between the Royals and Sporting. I just think with the MLS and the way Sporting's playing and what they did first game in without Dom Dwyer and they, they won that, that soccer game, I think they've got a great chance to win the MLS championship this year. I think a little bit better than the Royals. I like the Royals. I think I like where they are right now. We are just going to move into the month of August here. I like what the Royals have done by adding the players they've added. I think they've got a chance. I just think sporting is a little bit more. And for the Chiefs, I'm just not feeling it for the Kansas City Chiefs. I just, I just don't think that they are a Super Bowl contender. This offseason didn't do it for you? Hmm, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Blair, where are we going to be? Uh, in Minneapolis for the Super Bowl, in L.A. beating the Dodgers, or in Toronto when, when Sporting wins over Toronto FC? There you go. That, I like those choices. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, pick any? I, I think Kansas City sports fan would settle for any one of, any those. of those. right? Uh, yeah. But I, I'm going to go with Sporting with this one. And, and I, I look at it this way. Uh, I think all of those teams are in the top 10 in their sports, right? I think the Royals are a top 10 baseball team, the Chiefs top 10 football. But I think I think sporting is closer to being in the top five of, of the MLS right now. Um, I know they fell into second place uh, with their previous game uh, in, in, in the West, but, but the way that they handled their first game without Dom Dwyer, the, the, the veteran team that it is, I, I, I just like where sporting is and the way, the way it sets up for them coming down the stretch. So 
Look, I, I like I like the Royals as a postseason team. I, I think I saw the latest uh, playoff projection, 61% in the playoffs for the Royals at, uh, at 538.com. But I, I think uh, sporting is more of a sure bet right now than any of the three teams. All right, good stuff, guys. We're on time so far. I got the TV guy back and Shockler back on schedule. Uh, our hot topics, we talk Melky, Vic, and wild cards. Stay with us. You're watching Sunday Sound Up.